solution is hydrogen peroxide. This is about 8.5%. And let's see, the stuff you bleach your hair with, some of you bleach your hair, is about 10%. Um, the stuff that you have in your medicine chest or near your washing machine that takes out blood stains, you guys ever used it before? If you have like a shirt with some blood on it, you take some hydrogen peroxide, put a cap full on it, it magically dissolves. It fizzes and bubbles and it goes away. So hydrogen peroxide you probably have inside your home. Your mom uses it to get out blood stains. Uh, another solution will be potassium iodate. Uh, you'll learn how to write the formula for this soon. Um, and you'll learn how to name lots of chemical compounds as the year goes along. And what's this thing called? A beaker. Yeah, everybody knows what this one is. So a flask and a beaker. And we'll add about the same volume here in just a minute. And the third solution has some starch in it along with a couple of other things. And we'll put that in another beaker. Now I'm going to set these next to each other and make an observation. What color are the three solutions? Stupid answer time? Clear. Thank you, I knew you'd say that. P, P is clear, isn't it? But it certainly has a color, doesn't it? Most of the time, right? So clear, I don't know if that's a color. Another stupid answer, give me another one. See, now you're afraid. Transparent. Well, it's not bad, you're on the right track. It's lot, colorless. Yeah, there you go. A lot of kids say white at this point. <laughs> Does that look white to you? No. Yeah. no. It's the proper term would be colorless. So I'm going to mix these three solutions together, and we'll make a, another observation. Once again, what do you expect to see? Boom. Yeah, you'd hope to see a boom. And it's going to be a bit more than a color change. I think you guys will like this. Let me turn up the stir plate a little bit, and we'll mix all three together. Can you folks in the back row see OK? Right. How about you guys over to the side? You know? <laughs> no, seriously, I want you all to be able to see this. <laughs> Just mix them. All right. You guys are impatient. You all set? <laughs> I'll stop screwing with you. Here we go. And of course, there's a color change, right? Oh. But wait, that's not all. Keep on watching. And you think that's pretty cool too, don't you? But my yeah. favorite part's about to come up. Ready? You watching? Here it comes. Ooh. <laughs> and once again, you might think it's over. <laughs> favorite part time. You guys ready? <laughs> and it can continue to do that. For about five or ten minutes, it's sort of a cool reaction. It's called an oscillating reaction. There aren't a whole lot of these. As the concentration of one product increases, it triggers a backwards reaction. And as that increases, it triggers another reaction. And so it can go back and forth. The hydrogen peroxide that we're using supplies electrons for this reaction. Uh, when it does so, it decomposes into water and oxygen gas. So if you're at the front of the room, can you guys see the oxygen gas? Can you see it? What yeah. does it look like? Bubbles. Bubbles, yeah, it's fizzing in there. And that's the decomposition of my hydrogen peroxide. And when that goes away as long as well as some other reaction uh, reactants, uh, the reaction stops. But it'll go for quite a while. Sort of kind of fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, that'll work. <laughs> 